Hello and welcome to my video all about how to use rag rolls to curl your hair. Rag rolls are the old fashioned or traditional way of curling your hair. And I personally like the idea of curling my hair without using any damaging heat, so I thought I'd give it a go. This is unlike my normal craft tutorial videos, but at least in this you can use up some fabric scraps. I'm going to try two different methods to compare and contrast the results, and then you can choose your favourite. I'm going to refer to method 1 as hair rolls and method 2 as hair spirals. And for both methods you're going to need some thin cotton fabric, a water spray or water mister, some scissors and a ruler. I'm going to be using fabric from an old duvet cover. Just make sure that the fabric is not stretchy. You may also find it handy to have a mirror. Ok so for method 1 which is the hair rolls method you'll need at least 12 short strips of fabric. These strips need to measure about 8 cm or 3 inches wide and 20 cm or 8 inches long. The first thing you'll need to do for either of these methods is to wet your hair. Your hair needs to be damp but not dripping. These rag rolls will need to be kept in your hair until it's dry, so probably overnight. Make sure to use your water spray or water mister to keep your hair damp as you add the rag rolls. If you want to add any product to your hair, now is the time. And also make sure to get out all of the tangles. Right, so for the hair rolls method, we're going to take a section of hair and wind it up from the tip to the root using a short piece of fabric. So first, separate a section of hair, then place a piece of fabric on top of the hair about one inch from the tip. Then fold the end of your hair upwards so it's now on the front of the fabric. Then roll your hair in this same direction around the piece of fabric towards your head. Keep twisting the fabric as you go, trying to keep all the hair in the center of the fabric piece. You want to keep all of the hair together and try and be as neat as possible. Once you reach your head, you then tie the ends of the fabric together to keep it in place. Make sure that you'll be able to untie this knot later. Then repeat this until all of your hair is in rag rolls. Then when your hair is dry, you simply unknot these fabric strips and unroll your hair. Once your hair is loose, it's useful to use your fingers to twist your hair in the direction that you've just curled it in. Once all of the rag rolls have been removed, you can use your fingers to separate the curls. You don't want to use a brush because a brush will remove a lot of the curling effect. Ok so for method 2, which is the hair spirals method, you'll need some long strips of fabric and preferably a helper. You'll need at least 10 strips of the fabric, measuring approximately 3 times the length of your hair that you want to curl. So in my case that was 3 times 40 centimetres which was 120 centimetres long and 8 centimetres or 3 inches wide. Then to do this method you need to make sure your hair is damp once more, separate a small section of your hair, then take the end of a fabric strip and place it on top of your head. This should be several inches above where you're going to start the curl. If you have a helper, ask them to hold this strip in place on top of your head. If you don't have a helper, you can hold it, although this is a bit awkward, or you can use a hair clip. Then take the section of hair over the fabric strip and forwards, towards your face. Start wrapping your hair in that same direction around the fabric strip. You want to wrap the hair around the fabric, rather than the other way around. Once you reach the tip of your hair, fold the tip upwards. Then fold the fabric upwards as well to cover the end of your hair. 
Then work in the opposite direction and wrap the fabric tightly around the spiral, all of the way up. Once you reach the top, you'll have two fabric ends that you can then tie together to secure. Repeat the same for all of your hair. When your hair is dry, to remove these rag rolls, you simply take them out in the opposite direction to how you put them in. When you remove a rag roll, twist the hair section with your fingers in the same direction as it's been curled in. Make sure you don't use a brush on your curls because then most of the curling effect will disappear. Instead, just use your fingers to separate the curls. Then, once I'd used my fingers to separate the curls, these were the results. The hair rolls method created a more voluminous or messier curl for a beachy look, whilst the spirals method produced neater spiral curls. Personally, I liked the spirals a bit better, but it's totally up to you which method you want to try. You'll notice that when I removed these rag rolls that two of the curls worked well and two didn't so much. If you have the same problem then there can be a few reasons. The first reason is that you tried to wrap too much hair in one go. The second reason is you didn't wrap the hair tightly enough. And the third reason is that you wrapped the fabric around the hair rather than the hair around the fabric. Any of these errors can make the curls too loose. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you and thank you very much for watching.